Good afternoon, everybody. Uh, today I wanted to talk to you about what is self-defense. I've been getting a lot of uh, questions and or problems that some of our ninjas have been having, and I think it all encompasses in the general definition of what we're talking about. So first and foremost, uh, physical self-defense. So we talk about with our ninjas, nobody should ever put their hands on you in any way, in any fashion, that you're not comfortable. And that basically is using your self-defense. You have the right to tell people not to touch you in any way or any fashion. And so we've had a lot of instances where sometimes the kids are saying, well, this happened and I didn't want to hurt the other person's feelings that was touching me. And that is a huge problem as our, our ninjas grow up. And so what we wanted to be able to do is start talking about our mental and emotional self-defense as well. Right, so while somebody puts their hand maybe on the shoulder or, or on their hip, um, or, or just they're too close in proximity, it makes me uncomfortable, but I don't wanna say anything because I don't want to hurt their feelings. That's not right, right? You wanna be able to have the confidence to either number one, stand up and move yourself away from the situation, or two, more importantly, tell the person that, hey, I don't like this. So the number one line of self-defense is our voice, making sure that we use that leadership and confident voice, standing up for ourselves and telling people what we want. Um, and this happens time and time again in all kinds of situations. You know, maybe uh, somebody, you know, uh, trying to think of a situation that a lot of times in our adult seminars, we'll talk about uh, guys been out to the bar and has had a couple too many drinks. And so at that point, they're getting a little bit too friendly. You know, they've got their arm around you um, or they're holding your hand and they won't let go, things of that nature. The first line of self-defense is telling them, hey, let go, you know, and taking ownership and possession of yourself. So if we can teach this to our kids, it's gonna be that much better for them as they grow up and they're not gonna to have to face so many of these issues. So we've got physical self-defense, making sure that number one, nobody ever hurts us. If they're trying to punch or kick us, we use our blocks. And making sure that your ninja understands that it is perfectly okay to practice and use your blocks. Number two, our emotional self-defense, right? If somebody is doing something we don't like, use our strong voice, stand up and say, hey, this isn't right, I don't want you to do this, or don't touch me. And again, take ownership of your own body. Our third level now that we're gonna be working on is our intellectual self-defense. And what we work on here now, is what you're gonna hear us talking a lot about in the coming months, is uh, self-defense against the robot, or self-defense against artificial intelligence. As you are starting to see, there's a lot of automated things coming out. This afternoon, I saw a Facebook ad for an automatic cocktail maker. So all you have to do is put your glass underneath, push what drink you want, and it's completely mixed as a cocktail. Um, and so you see the, the chef, there's a chef now or a kitchen that you can purchase and you tell, you tell it what you want it to cook and it cooks it perfectly the same way every single time. So what we're working on, or gonna be working on with our ninjas in the coming months is uh, self-defense against the robot. What that means is we're gonna be teaching our ninjas how to think differently. We're gonna be giving them some skills in class that are gonna be able to double their brain speed so they're gonna be able to learn faster, retain more, and be able to be that much better than everybody else in their class and in their group. So this is something we're super excited to be introducing to, but here's the statistic that we started learning. By 2040, by the year 2040, one million people will be out of a job. And that's because of artificial intelligence is on its way. Everything that is menial or manufacturing or just making things is gonna be automated. So all of a sudden we're gonna wake up and there's gonna be a million people that don't have anything to do. And if they don't have another skill, they're stuck. I wanna make sure our ninjas are not one of those people. So we're gonna be working on their intellectual self-defense. And so again, being able to have that self-defense against the robot, going back to some of the emotional self-defense as well. You know, we talk about being able to stand strong, stand tall. How about self-defense against ourselves or from ourselves? How often does negative thinking drop into your day and you're like, I can't do this. You, know, you hear your kids say this uh, way too often. You know, I'm not good enough. Um, I, I shouldn't be able uh, um, 
to get this or I won't be able to do that. All the time their day is filled with doubt. So we wanna be able to work on that emotional standpoint as well and make them a whole lot stronger. So again, when you think about self-defense, don't think about you know just the blocks that we use or the punches and the strikes. Those are the cool things physically. There's a lot more to it, a lot more in depth that we work on every single day that your ninja is going to use. They're probably never gonna to have to sidekick somebody. They're probably never gonna to have to you know, do a joint lock and take somebody to the ground as they learned as they get closer to black belt. But I guarantee every single day they're gonna to have to use their emotional self-defense. Somebody's trying to hurt my feelings. I learn how to verbally block that. I learn how to mentally block that so it doesn't bother me. Our intellectual self-defense, how do I defend against technology as it comes up so that I can remain relevant? So there's, again, a lot of great things that we're going to be working on at the school to help make sure our ninjas are true leaders, not today, uh, or not just today, but of the years and the decades that are coming up. So if you found this useful, please do me a favor, put it down in the comments below, looking forward to the future or, or whatever you liked best about the video. I'm going to head in, get ready for classes, and we will see you guys soon. Take care.